You're watching the Fox 9 Morning Buzz. Good Tuesday morning and welcome back to the buzz here on Fox 9. Well, our next guests represent one half of the upcoming performance titled A Shared Evening. So this Friday for one night only, two different ensembles will reimagine classical genres in a whole new way from a Western quartet inspired by the healing properties of music to an Eastern dance group exploring the myth and spirituality of their Indian heritage. And joining us this morning from Ragmala Dance Company are Rani and Ashwini Ramaswamy. And mother and daughter. That's right. Nice to have both of you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so uh, explain what this performance is all about and how you've teamed up with this quartet. Sure, so as you mentioned, we're mother and daughter, and then my sister is also um, part of the company. Rani and Aparna are the artistic directors. And there was, um, in the imagining of what we would do for our season this year, was the idea of instead of collaborating with another musical ensemble, which we've been doing for mm -hmm. 25, 25 years, years. Mm -hmm. um, sharing an evening so that people could draw their own conclusions about these classical ensembles that are really um, hurtling towards the future with how we um, use those forms. And uh, Brooklyn Rider, a, a quartet out of New York, what, what made them the right people to, to share this evening with? You know, um, we have known, we met uh, Colin Jacobson, who is the violinist um, at one of our uh, U.S. Artists Awards and we started talking and we found that we had a kinship and through the four or five years that we have known them we have watched them and also he's part of the um, uh, Silk Road Ensemble with mm -hmm. Yo-Yo Ma mm -hmm. and my oh, my daughter Aparna is working with them which is another way of yeah. brings everything yes. full circle so ha ha you know making this conversation we found out that we would be actually um, have a very similar thought process and um, inspiration to create, to use classical forms in creative ways. Mm -hmm. So we decided that it would make a very good pairing um, for this season for us. You know, it's essentially taking uh, two art forms and, you know, this w reaches a wider range of people, a more exactly. diverse group to, to really maybe understand more about the dance and just the, the history behind the art. Exactly, and we feel that there are um, audiences that compartmentalize within dance and music and mm -hmm. we really want them to come together and see the dynamic ways that both ensembles use our forms. Yeah, it's a very, um, making the arts accessible, you know, if you're interested yeah. in classical music, you get to see a classical dance from a different country and if you, d vice versa, those who see that, come to see the dance can also enjoy the music. We mentioned at the top, your mother and daughter. Yes. Your sister is involved in this process too. Yes. As a family, what has this process been like to work together and collaborate to, um, make, yeah. to make this happen? It's been a wonderful, for me, you know, as a yeah. mother, yeah. I take my two daughters to work. So I founded the company 25 years ago. And over the years, as the children grew and they studied the art form, they've joined me. Uh, Aparna is my co-artistic director. Ashwini does all the marketing and co they both choreograph. We work together sometimes. We do individual projects like Ashwini's Nocturne for this evening, but mm -hmm. it has been a wonderful ride for me. I hope it's the same <laughs> for them. And this is part of the Women of Substance event. Explain how this art form and how this event is kind of taking, you know, women and essentially showcasing uh, working together with other genres and, you know, bringing their strength to art. Sure, the O'Shaughnessy has been doing the Women of Sustenance series for uh, several years, and I think it's um, it now feels more relevant than ever as we keep moving towards mm -hmm. you know showcasing women and how their talents and, and um, how they showcase yeah, their art. Yeah, in all genres, like you run a company, it's not just dancing, but you're running a nonprofit organization, yeah. and you have so many aspects of it. And we are all, most of us, I mean, five are five dance, members do all almost all the work running the company also so it's really showcasing our talents mm -hmm. women's talents in every way and as Ronnie mentioned earlier all the composers that Brooklyn Rider will be showcasing it's five new compositions by all female composers wow that's important put that in <laughs> all right uh, Ashwini and Ronnie thank you very much for thank joining you us very this much for thank having you. us and a shared evening Brooklyn Rider and Ragmala Dance Company is 7 30 Friday night at the O'Shaughnessy in St. Paul. For more information, including tickets, visit theoshaughnessy.com.
Coming up next in Nevada, a new solar-powered road safety vest is getting a trial run.